This thing is dead. Hey, sorry. Yeah. Ooh, running a little late today. Mm -hmm. Oh man, get this. I'm on the way to the doctor and, um, you know what? C cut the music. Cut the music. This is not working. What? This is my fifth take doing this. It's not funny. What's the problem? There's a lot of problems. I mean, for one, this plant is dying. Now I'm reading from a prompter. I mean, what's up with this? Well, what do you suggest? I don't know, but I'm gonna come up with something different. Can we get the lights on? Gosh. Come on, people, we got work to do. Let's put our brains together. Let's figure something out. It's just you and me. This here is a video analysis of popular camera techniques and how they evoke certain emotions. Here's an example from the popular 1935 cult classic film, The Lunch Thief, starring Nicholas Bravo and Logan Featherbottom. This is an exterior wide shot. This establishes the setting for where the following scenes will unfold. And this is Brett. These are close-ups. These are used to draw attention to a specifically important object in the scene. To evoke a feeling of uneasiness, Dutch angles are used to take the audience away from normality. Sometimes you begin wide, but zoom in, so the audience's attention is slowly drawn towards a character with a hidden agenda. POVs are used to immerse the audience into the voyeur's perspective. This illuminates the motives of the skulking character. Here's an example of low angles and high angles. Low angles are used to show the dominance of one character over another, whereas high angles show a character's inferiority and weakness. To keep the audience further engaged in a scene, you might option for the long take through the use of steady cams or tracks. I don't know why you kicked me in the face. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of blacked out there. <laughs>